I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you another trigonometric identity where I will solve both left side and right side to prove the identity. The question is tan x divided by 1 plus tan square x equal to secant x minus cos x times cosecant x minus sin x. So I'll prefer to do this question by solving both left side and right side. I should say simplify and then equating them to be equal. So let's begin with the left side, which is tan x divided by 1 plus tan square x. Now, we could write this 1 plus tan square x is actually secant square x. So, so let me talk about this. Uh, 1 plus tan square x is actually secant square x, right? So we'll replace this 1 plus tan square x by secant square x. And as you know, tan x is uh, sin x over cos x and secant square x will be 1 over cos square x, right? So these are the identities which we'll use on the left side. So the left side is given to us as tan x over 1 plus tan square x, right? So I'm rewriting since I've added so many things in between. Now, as I'm saying, 1 plus tan square x is secant square x, right? And tan x is sine over cos. So I could write this as sine x over cos x. And 1 plus tan square x is secant square x. So let me write this like this, 1 over secant square x. Is that clear, right? So basically what I did was I kind of slided this slightly away. So I'm writing this as tan x times 1 over 1 plus tan square x. So the idea which you get from here is that I'm avoiding layers of fractions to be very precise. So kind of linearizing the fractions. Do you understand the concept? So 1 plus tan square x, this part has been written as secant square x and tan x is written as sin x over cos x. Perfect. Now secant is 1 over cos. So I could write this as sin x over cos x times cos square x. Perfect. Now, one of these costs get cancelled, so we get sin x cosine x on the left side. So I hope these steps are simple and clear. So we just cancel this part. So we get sin x cos x on the left side, right? Now let's do the same thing here. I mean, simplify the right side. On the right side, we'll just write these terms in terms of sine and cosine. Secant, as you know, is 1 over cos x. Cosecant is 1 over sine x. Oh, this is just cos x, I'm sorry. So just cos x times cosecant is 1 over sine x minus sine x. Is it okay? Now we can have, uh, I mean, sine x cos x is in the denominator. Okay, so we'll write this portion, the first one as cos x times 1 minus cos square x. Is it okay? And this portion could be written as sin x 1 minus sin square x. Now 1 minus cos square x is sin square x. We have cos x here. 1 minus sin square x is cos square x. And we have sin x in the denominator. Now that cancels, this cancels. What are you left with? You are left with sine x times cosine x. You see that? So, so what we have derived at is both left side and right side independently are equal to sine x times cosine x. So that means left side is equal to right side, right? And therefore, this identity has been proven. So I think solving both sides in such examples is very helpful. Uh, they are straightforward. You don't really have to do a lot of strategies. 
So I prefer solving this question both ways, as shown here. I'm Anil Kumar. Looking forward to your suggestions and comments. Thanks for watching.